Brian Hoyer overcomes three INTs as Browns win on Billy Cundiff late FG. Atlanta, after being suspended for Cleveland's first 10 games, Josh Gordon had no trouble remembering how to play the game. Fortunately for the Browns, Brian Hoyer was able to forget some costly mistakes. Gordon turned in a huge performance in his first game of the season, catching eight passes for 120 yards and Hoyer shook off three interceptions to lead a drive in the final minute that set up Billy Cundiff's 37-yard field goal as time expired Sunday, giving the Browns a 26-24 victory over the Atlanta Falcons. I knew the guys weren't going to quit on me, Gordon said. I definitely wasn't going to quit on them, taking advantage of the last of Hoyer's picks. The Falcons drove for Matt Bryant's 53-yard field goal with 44 seconds remaining to seize the lead. Turns out they left too much time on the clock. Hoyer completed four straight passes, including a 24-yarder to Gordon down the middle of the field. The last of the throws went to Miles Austin, who took it to the Falcons' 19. The Browns, 7-4, hustled to the line, spiked the ball with five seconds left and sent on Cundiff for his fourth field goal of the game. Nothing to lose, really, Hoyer said. Go out and play fearless. That's all I have at that point. After serving his punishment for violating the league's substance abuse policy, Gordon started for Cleveland and was targeted a game-high 16 times. How did I hold up? Pretty good, he said. The adrenaline will keep you going. The Falcons, 4-7, came in on a two-game winning streak and improbably tied for first with New Orleans in the woeful NFC South.